This is Scott Keene, principal at Dutchland Middle School. As the spring semester continues on, most of our athletic programs have finished their season and we're beginning to look forward to next school year. This presentation will discuss the things that all athletes will need to be eligible for the 2023-2024 school year. Every athlete is required to have certain documents. The first document is a birth certificate. If your child has played a sport before and was eligible, then their birth certificate is on file. This is a one-time thing. Once you upload it, it will be with them in their file until they graduate. The next thing is a physical. You must get a physical every year. The physical is good for one school year. So if you got a physical today, April 17th, 2023, your physical will be good until April 17th, 2024. There's two sides on the physical form. The front side is filled out by the parent. The back is completed by a doctor. You can fill the front side out, out digitally on the Dragonfly app, and we'll talk about that um, more later. The third form is the concussion form. All this form is is just a form that the student athlete and the parent must sign. The parent release form is another form that the student athlete and the parent must sign and each athlete must, sign, must complete the sportsmanship test. This is a one-time test. If your child has participated in sports before, they are more than likely have completed this requirement. For any new sixth grade, upcoming seventh grade, they will all have to take this test and this will be completed at school. This is not something that you must complete at home. So Dragonfly is a system that all schools in the state of Alabama use uses for eligibility. This is where all your documents will be uploaded. Um, we encourage that all parents download um, the Dragonfly app and create their own account. If you don't have access to a computer or a phone, we can do this at school, but it's much, much easier, much more convenient for everybody if the parent has their own account and can help upload the thing. So in order to set up an account, you'll first need to go to dragonflymax.com. Click login, sign up at the top of the screen. Click sign up for free. Complete the sign up form and hit submit. And once you submit, you'll be sent a verification code via email or text. Enter the verification code. And after entering the verification code, you will finish setting up the account and connect it to Dashlin Middle School. Once you've done this, you'll be able to download the app and then um, you can upload your documents. You can create an account for your child and you can, at any point in time, you can see what documents they need to have uploaded. So more on Dragonfly. Once you get your account, you get the app, you can electronically fill out the front of the physical. So in Dragonfly, you will see there is a pre-participation physical evaluation form. That is the front of the physical. There's also a physical evaluation form. That's the back that the doctor fills out. So you can electronically fill out the front of the physical. Once again, if you don't have internet, don't have the app, there is a hard copy that you can do that you can fill out with a pen and a pencil. Same for the concussion or release form. You can fill this out electronically. You can sign your name electronically. If you need a physical form, if you need the actual hard copy of the form um, to sign and return to the school, we can get that to you. Um, once you go to the doctor and you get a physical, the doctor will complete the back of the physical. You can take a picture of the, of the back of the physical and you can upload this directly to the app. Once again, if you don't have the app, you don't do that, we can do it for you, but it's much easier if you do it on your own. Uh, it saves us a lot of time and it makes sure that nothing is lost. So once you upload it, take a picture and upload it, we still ask that you turn in the hard copy to your coach. That way we have that on file at the school. And if you're a new athlete, if you've never played before, if you're an upcoming seventh grader, we ask that you take a picture of your birth certificate and upload it to the app as well. Okay, so this is what the front of the physical looks like. A um, couple problems that we've had in the, in the past is make sure that you fill out everything on the top of this page completely. If you'll go through, you'll check all these answers right here. At the bottom, it asks for the signature of the athlete the date, as well as the signature of the parent guardian. It's very, very important that we have all of those. If something's missing, the state of Alabama will not accept it. This is the back of the physical that will be filled out by the doctor. A couple of things in the past that we've noticed that sometimes does not happen 
is people forget to put the student's name. If you don't have the student's name on the back, there's no way to verify that that's your student's physical. The state will not accept it. Also down here, make sure that your doctor, whoever you get the physical by, circles either MD or DO. Make sure that everything down here is filled out to completion. If it's not, the state will not accept it. This is the concussion form. You can fill it out electronically or you can get a hard copy. It does ask for the student's name to be printed, student's name to be signed, and the date. Same for the parent, parent signature, and date. Make sure that all those are filled out. The release form. Ask for, it has a spot for both parents. Only one parent has to in the name of the student. So as far as for tryouts, if your child played a sport last year, then their concussion and release form are still good. That's for the 2022-2023 school year. It's good for the rest of the year. You do not have to worry about filling that out yet. If your student did not play a sport last year and is going to try out or is an upcoming seventh grader, they do not have this form on file for this school year. You will have to fill this form out for the 2022-2023 school year. Same for this release form. Now, you will also this summer have to go back in and fill out another one for the 2023-2024. All it is is signing your name, but just know if you fill one out now for tryouts, you're going to have to turn around and do it again in the, uh, during the summer for next school year's eligibility. Once again, the physical is good for one calendar year, so if you get it today, it will be good until April of next year. All right, spring tryout dates. Boys basketball is Monday, May 8th through Thursday, May 11th, 3.15 to 5 at the DMS gym. Upcoming 7th grade girls basketball is Wednesday, April 19th. Softball is looking at like May 16th, 3.30 to 5.30. Cross country, May 17th and 18th, 3.30 to 4.30. Baseball is still playing right now. They've not finalized a date. Um, talking to Coach Cantrell, the date he is looking at will be Thursday, May 18th. That is subject to change. He's not finalized that, but that is what he's thinking at the moment. Volleyball, April 26th and 27th for upcoming 7th graders only. Once again, some of these dates may, may change. They're not set in stone. But this is just to kind of give you an idea of what we're planning. If you don't see your sport on here, I have not got the dates. You can contact their head, the head coach of that sport, and they can kind of let you know what they're thinking. Um, but all of these forms and eligibility requirements are the same for all sports for the Alabama High School Athletic Association. All right, one thing that we've offered in the past or that Helen Keller Well Care has offered in the past is free sports physicals. They are offered May 24th at 5 p.m. and all athletes are encouraged. So the beauty about this is if you get a physical May 24th, it will be good until May 24th of 2024, which will cover you for the entire school year next year, as opposed to if you have a physical today, your physical would lapse towards the end of next school year. So if you don't have an up-to-date physical, you will have to get one to try out. But then we're going to ask all students, regardless if they have an up-to-date physical, to come back to the May 24th physicals at the Helen, Kel Helen Keller Well Care. It goes fairly fast. It's a fairly organized process. It's free, and you, your child will have an up-to-date physical that will last them the entire next school year. And hopefully um, the free sports physicals, they quit doing them during COVID. This is the first year's back. Hopefully this will be a yearly thing, and you can just get into a, a routine of at the end of every school year, you go get a physical, and you're good for the school year. So regardless, we encourage everybody to come to this. One more thing that, that's a little bit different this year is that you must register for school in order to participate in any summer athletic um, activities. So you should have been emailed your SNAP codes uh, to your email. If you did not get one of those or you need a print off, you can call the school office and we'll make sure you get them. But registration for returning students is open until May 25th. If you're not enrolled, you can't comp uh, compete in summer athletic activities. Um, so, rundown of, of everything we talked about, make sure you get a physical before tryouts. You can't try out unless you have a physical. You have to have the concussion form signed. You can do all of that electronically other than the back of the physical page. Um, if your child has any medical issues, a medical plan where they have to see the school nurse, 
whether it be for diabetes, asthma, um, aller allergies of any type, please contact the school nurse uh, before tryouts to let the school nurse know that your child is trying out for a sport uh, next year. That would help us out a lot. If you have any questions, you can contact me or you can contact the head coach of the sport your child is trying out for. Thank you.